What's up YouTube? I'm back. And today I'm going to be showing you my second YouTube MIT App Inventor tutorial. As you can see right up here, the project name is YouTube Tutorial 2. Now, without further ado, let's get started. As you can see, there's only one screen. There's no start screen or setting screen or anything. It's just the one screen with the game, same as last time. <clears throat> now, I already have everything set up. That way I can just go through and show it to you and, you know, talk to you. But I wanted to have everything ready so that I wasn't, you know, rushing around trying to get things done on camera. That would not make for a very good video. You guys want good content, so I'm going to try my best to give you good content. Now, what you're going to need for this, same as last time, is a computer with MIT App Inventor on it, and a phone or the emulator that comes with it. As you can see, we have the refresh companion screen, we have the emulator, the AI companion, the USB. Now, I already have a companion, I already have the companion app set up on my phone, so that's why all these things are grayed out, and that's why these things work. So I don't have to worry about that. I've been playing this game a little bit that I made. It's super fun. Uh, it's it's a soccer game, so it's not too complex. But the things you're going to need to put on this screen to make it is you're going to need a label, you're going to need a canvas, you're going to need an image sprite, which you can't see on here, but it's it's there. Uh, a ball, you're going to need another image sprite, which is right there. And the second ball, that's, well, actually, this is the first ball. The other one's ball three. But this ball is going to be your player. This is your little soccer ball that you'll be kicking around. And then you're going to need four clocks. Now, you can get the label right here. Uh, and then drawing an animation, that's where you get the ball, canvas, and image sprites. And then if you go to sensors, that's where you can get the clocks. Let's go back here. Now... You want to set your label to have all of these qualities. So I'll let you pause it if you need to. Check it out. Okay. Canvas needs to have... You need to have a background image for your canvas. Of course, I already have one. Um, but you may not be... You may have to find a different one. You'll probably not be able to find the same one. But you'll just go here, click Upload File, and then you can... Either select it from in here, or you can just drag it. It'll probably, the download will probably pop up right there. You can just drag it and uh, click it. We'll click cancel. But as you can see, I already have one, and then I have my soccer ball. So then, once you have the background image, you need to set the height to 85, width to 95, and then, you know, rest should be set up by default. Uh, the image sprite one's properties. There we go. Ball 3 properties, image sprite 2 properties, and of course you can rename your image sprites and your balls and everything else. Uh, I just choose not to because it takes too much time to go through and name everything. Um, and then ball 1, but you know, it's up to you. See, there's a little rename button. Clock 1, click this, clock 2, same thing, clock 3, same thing. Clock 4 is where it changes. It'll it'll automatically have this in there. Just leave that alone. All you gotta do is untick timer enabled. And then you've got this stuff all set up and ready to go. So you're gonna uh, make sure that your background color, by the way, is black. I mean, you could do it white with black text for the label, but I like it like this. Um, but, you know, you're the one making it, so it's up to you. <coughs> um, and now... I wouldn't say that this game is too difficult to make, but, I mean, it did take a while for me to get everything ready. It took me maybe an hour and a half, but uh, once I got it set up, it wasn't that much. So I'll just kind of, you know, move every once in a while and pause and let you guys t uh, take a look for yourselves. I won't over-explain it too much, but I'll help along the way. Um, and if you do need help with anything... Uh, put it in the comments down below, and I'll try to reply and uh, tell you like what it is you need to do or where you need to go. Um, and then, so you need to get this. And then, your timer. Okay, move on to the next thing. Now, the clock two timer is a very, very big part of it, as you can see. So I'll do it in little bits. So we'll get... First bit right here. Move it all the way. Okay. 
and feel free to pause the video at any time to make sure that you can get all of the, uh, the blocks correct. Okay, so then the last three things you need is you need variable. Uh, you can name it whatever you want. I just put score one. Uh, you're going to initialize it to zero. And then you're going to have this to get global score. Um, and then this is just going to be, uh, if you've been paying attention, the, here, uh, I'll, you know, kind of go through and explain things right now. So what this is going to do is that's going to make it so that when we fling anywhere on the canvas, if we swipe anywhere on the canvas, that'll move the ball in the direction that we uh, swiped and in the at, the at the speed that we swiped. So this one is just to check every millisecond if the ball one is colliding with image sprite 2, then we need image sprite 2 to go to the coordinates of ball 1 and that's what that does, so that that's when you, you know, you have the ball, you're dribbling it down, uh, you're about to score a goal, and then when image sprite 1 touched, now, I, I do have to go back into this, okay, so image sprite 1, obviously, when I select this, normally it would glow like this, but because it's on the opposite side, of, because it's like, where the, um, where it can't see it, uh, at these coordinates, you know, it's still there. Um, this is actually the button that's going to be like your kick, you know, your release. And then ball three is the goal. Uh, you could set the paint color to white or none or really any other color. Uh, I just like to set it to white, but you, of course, do not have to. Um, I just wanted to come in here and explain why you couldn't see it and you know, that stuff. But that's going to be like your button. And, uh, of course, we could use an actual button. But that's going to take up space on the screen, whereas with an image sprite, we can do the touched block, and we can put it on the canvas. So then, when you touch this, it makes the, uh, it, it basically makes the ball go in the same direction, at the same speed that you were moving. Sets your speed to zero so that you stop, and you actually have to kick it like an actual game. Um, and then, well, I guess you don't always have to stop to kick, but... And then this, it just sets the timer one enabled to false, so that, you know, it's not constantly following you and it actually works. And then timer four enabled to true, which if we go down here, timer four, uh, that's just a uh, one second count to re-enable timer one. Um, and then timer two, what this one does is every second it runs a check to be like, okay, if this is touching this and the random integer equals one, then we need to set the score two plus one we need to move everything back to the starting position reset all the speeds the headings uh, we need to set the clock one timer enabled to true to make sure it's going to be able to catch it and you know same with this one except if it equals two um, and then over here we have of course the score the timer and then the other timer <clears throat> that is uh, the game that's, that's really all you needed. Um, wasn't too difficult to make. It took me a while because I was doing some problem solving. I had uh, experimented with adding in an AI, but it got extremely complex, and I'm trying to do these tutorials, at least, you know, the earlier ones for beginners. Um, maybe later, if you guys put in the comments uh, either hardcore, but hashtag hardcore if you want more difficult tutorials uh, with, you know, more complex games. And if you prefer these, you know, kind of mellow, uh, easier tutorials, put hashtag noob. You know, I said it. Put hashtag noob in the comments, okay? So I'll be waiting to see your response. Whoever, uh, whichever gets the most comments is what I will be doing going forward. So choose wisely. <clears throat> um, but goodbye for now. See you later.